Hello friends. So today let's just discuss about some basics of communication system. Often we have come across the terms of baseband and band pass signals. Okay. So let's see what do we mean by these terms in case of a communication system. So this is the general block diagram of a communication system uh, starting with the source and ending uh, at the destination and within these two uh, extreme blocks we have a number of blocks okay so as to make the efficient and uh, effective transmission of our message okay so when you talk about the message signal okay the other names of message signal uh, are the modulating signal or baseband signal okay so what do we mean by baseband then so baseband signal are nothing but the original message signal okay base means low okay these signals are of relatively lower frequency hence the name baseband signal okay and the message signal can be analog or digital okay or uh, talking about in the various forms of message signal, it can be audio, video, image, or uh, data, okay. But the uh, important factor or conspicuous feature is that of uh, the lower frequency terms associated with this, hence the name base band. Again, since we already have talked a lot about uh, modulation, we know that there's another uh, signal by the name carrier signal, which actually carries the information along with it hence the name carrier and it's of a high frequency order or it's a high frequency signal right further this carrier signal may be in the form of a continuous wave means the sinusoidal wave or it can be in the form of pulse wave okay so that's a topic of further discussion now let's come to the modulated signal using these two signals we obtain our modulated signal and this signal is also known as pass band signal okay so our modulated signal is known as pass band signal or band pass signal okay so the baseband signal is nothing but the message generated from the information source they are of relatively lower frequency terms okay and the transmission or the communication associated with these types of message means when we send the original message or the message uh, baseband messages as such as such means without modulation then those mo uh, transmission would be known as baseband transmission okay so these uh, transmission or these communication systems are without modulation uh, for example in case of a landline telephone you know, might have heard about landline telephone and many of you must have seen also the landline uh, telephone system so there we go with the baseband transmission means the uh, uh, voice signals are transmitted as such without superimposing upon any higher frequency signal or the carrier signal means no modulation is being taking place but uh, it's not a very uh, faithful transmission okay uh, so if we happen to transmit these baseband signals wirelessly over a long distance or in case of telecommunication then we know that the antenna height required will be very high because we are talking about uh, low frequencies okay so corresponding to the low frequencies or high wavelengths okay we know that the height of antenna is or height of antenna should be proportional to the wavelength being transmitted by that antenna so higher as the wavelength higher would be the antenna height required so it is not practical and the transmission won't be effective or faithful now looking at the other type of signal by the name pass band signal band pass signal or the modulated signal so this signal is obtained after modulation okay so this faithful transmission of the same we already have uh, talked about we already have studied about various advantages of modulation in our previous lectures so again as we said that the important uh, feature to determine between these 
terms of baseband and passband would be the frequency so the bath, um, passband signal or band pass signal they are associated with high frequencies okay because we are talking about the carrier signal okay and that carrier signal when one of the feature of that carrier signal is being changed or modulated in accordance with the message signal it becomes the modulated signal or the passband signal or the band pass signal okay so looking at the frequency domain version or the spectrum of the baseband and passband so in case of baseband we are dealing with uh, or uh, we are referring to only a single frequency say it's w or fm okay so if we say that the bandwidth of our message is fm means we are um, talking only about a single frequency because we know that it is starting from the zero okay so zero to fm will be the band of that uh, message or the bandwidth okay of baseband signal but in case of band pass or pass band signal okay we are talking about a range of frequency so in, ca in case of modulation we have seen that when our message signal is being multiplied by a high frequency cosine signal and the uh, spectrum is being shifted by that carrier frequency okay so this spectrum is now being shifted at fc and f minus fc clear so we are uh, we obtain three components in case of double sideband full carrier one is the carrier component located at fc then we have the upper sideband ranging from fc to fc plus w or fc plus fm then we have the lower sideband ranging from fc minus w or fc minus fm to fc okay so here we see the bandwidth what is the bandwidth bandwidth is the range of the signal okay uh, means uh, the upper frequency of the signal minus the lower frequency so these are the extremities with, uh, within which the signal is existing so uh, when we subtract the upper frequency which is fc minus fm minus minus of fc minus fm then we obtain that the bandwidth is equal to twice of fm or twice of w so this was all about the difference between baseband and the band pass or passband signal thank you